So did I contact the person that I got HIV from? Oops, yes. Um, that's why I know who I got it from because I found out and then I realized he was the one that was basically high risk for HIV because he had shared needles for drugs and I knew that he had sex with um, transgender women. This is all high risk for HIV. So yeah, I contacted him finally. Well, I didn't have his number right away. It took me a while to find him and track him down. It was about four days after my diagnosis and he confirmed that yes, he was positive and that he had given my name and number to the clinic where he was to the clinic where he was diagnosed, which was about three months after we broke up. So he gave my name and number, they never contacted me. Um, and I went about another two and a half years without knowing that I had it and was diagnosed in um, 2016, February of 2016. So uh, people are asking if uh, I contacted, I don't know why this computer's going on. <laughs> I didn't touch it. I'm subbing right now. People asked if I gave it to anybody else, no. No, the odds of a woman giving it to a man, basically the CDC says it's one out of 2,500 exposures to a woman, 2,500. I had a partner for a year who was exposed to me. When we didn't know I had it, he didn't get it from me. And I had another partner for six months who um, was exposed to me for six months without condoms. We didn't know that I had it and he was also negative. I had other partners as well during that two and a half years. Um, and yeah, nobody got HIV for me. I think there's somebody in the room. So uh, yes, I did contact everybody.